Doctor, talk about uh, addiction, especially to either street drugs or prescription drugs. How big of a problem has that become in our society? Well, it really is reaching an epidemic state. Mm -hmm. It's really very sad. Uh, I happen to be an emergency room doctor as well, and that's really what triggered my interest in trying to help people. Um, I've seen that more and more people are getting prescribed medications, um, and they're becoming dependent on more than one thing. You know, it, it could be opiates, it could be benzos, it could be uh, oxycontin, it could be methadone, it could be suboxone, but we also could be addicted to blood pressure medication, to Tylenol, to ibuprofen. We are using uh, the instant gratification system to feed into the reward system in the brain instead of really trying to deal with the root cause problem, and we've created many more addicts than we should. And so the, it's, a, it's a huge problem, and it needs to be addressed. And replacing one drug with another is not really the answer. I mean, we've tried everything else. And as much as the AA and the 12-step program has implemented and helped a lot of people, it really does not have solid scientific backing. We need to treat people in a unique way. Every single person is unique. What you need, your needs are different than my needs, different than this person needs. So if we don't address the uniqueness of every single person, we're not going to address the real issue. And then we're going to um, set people to fail. And we don't want to set them to fail. Um, one of the most important things is to really begin to accept and um, become comfortable with what you, who you are. You know, accept it, own it, and then when you, when I own it, I can do with it something. I mean, if you, if somebody is an addict, they still have to love themselves. We still have to love them. We still have to help them. Um, An addiction is really not restricted to drugs anymore. It could be sex, it could be TV, it could be work, you know? We're all addicted to work too. So addiction is a reward feeder, okay? We have a reward mechanism in the brain, and we want to boost that ego constantly, but when we use artificial ways to help um, our reward system, what happens is we lose ourself and we just put a huge dopamine rush that really can disturb us and our body shuts down because we cannot handle that much dopamine. So really it's an imbalance that we have created by using artificial means to feed the reward system.